Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Sharice Gibson. We begin with a disturbing story out of New Orleans East. Yeah, vandals have been breaking into cars at Mary Queen of Vietnam Catholic Church. It's happened twice in one week while parishioners were attending mass. Yeah, Paul Murphy joins us from that church on Dwyer Boulevard with the story. And Paul, I mean, they have to be tired of this happening. Certainly, Sharice and Karen. Parishioners here tell me that it says a lot about where we are as a city when people are breaking into their cars while they're praying inside their church. And in recent days, that's exactly what's been happening here at the Mary Queen of Vietnam Church in New Orleans East, both on the street and in the parking lot. Fresh piles of broken glass line the street near Willowbrook Drive and Dwyer Boulevard outside the Mary Queen of Vietnam Catholic Church in New Orleans East. Sunday, six cars were burglarized here during 8 a.m. mass. This is not the first time it happened. Deacon Vin Tran says 11 vehicles were also broken into in the church parking lot during mass on New Year's Day. Oh, they just went in there and just go through the car, mess up the things that are in the car, and just go to the next one. Peter Tu Ho is a volunteer at Mary Queen of Vietnam. He set up security cameras outside the church that caught the vandals on video Sunday. You can see four young men, some in hoodies and bandanas, get out of a white infinity shortly before they broke into cars on the street. Ho says earlier the same vehicle drove through the church parking lot. They're not really scared of, you know, they don't worry about anything else but break into the car. Ho says the car break-ins are very concerning to parishioners. Going to the church and worry about the car, you know, out there, would they break in this time or not? So that put a bad feeling to our mind right here, right now. Mary Queen of Vietnam is now taking steps to beef up security. The church is now closing the parking lot gate during mass and considering a police detail on Sundays. Deacon Tran says the crimes are having a chilling effect on the church community. We noticed that the attendant mass this past Sunday, attendant well, a lot of people didn't feel secure enough to go to, man, to go to church. You may remember New Orleans City Council member Cindy Wynn's father was carjacked on the street outside Mary Queen of Vietnam last April. That crime was also caught on video. Today, Wynn said the church will install NOPD safe cams and hire private detail officers for church events. We're live in New Orleans East, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Paul,